revenues from train exceeded government target by 8.1% in 2018. Additional revenues from the tax reform for acceleration and inclusion. Train Act exceeded the government's target by 8.1% in 2018 even as the law also allows taxpayers to take home more money with their lower personal income tax rate. In a statement on Thursday, the Department of Finance, DOS, quoted its strategy, economics and results through, third, as saying that the train log net revenues last year amounted to P68.4 billion, higher than the P63.3, hyphen billion dollar. The dot third was led by finance under Secretary Carl Kendrick T. Sewer, who spearheaded the push for the Duder administration's first of seven tax reform packages. The largest gains were seen in tobacco excise, auto excise and documentary stamp tax collections. Personal income tax collections were also higher than expected due to better compliance and an increase in the number of registered taxpayers. Taken together, these Highest gainers contributed around P51.5 billion of the P58.4 hyphen billion additional revenue from trade, the DOS said. Auto excise taxes surpassed targets by P6.2 billion, while collections from higher documentary stamp taxes were above target by P4.7 billion. Accounting for value added tax from additional spending, estimated at P24.6 billion which was due to additional take-home pay as a result of lower personal income taxes, train revenue has far exceeded its target, providing additional public resources for infrastructure and human capital development programs, the DOS said. In all, the restructured personal income tax system that raised the tax exempt tax to P250,000 allows workers to receive an additional P111.7 billion last year, according to the DOS. Citing its previous estimates, the DOS said that implementation of train gave a combined P12 billion per month in additional income to the country's individual taxpayers, most of them compensation earners, and in unconditional cash transfers to the poorest households and senior pensioners. For 2019, the cabinet level, Incapacity Development Budget Coordination Committee projected the train law and its spin-off tax reform package wouldn't be sent to the hyphen receipts program, scheduled to be piloted next year to generate P162.2 billion. Package 1B was included in Republic Act No. 11213, for the Tax Amnesty Act of 2019 signed by President Duders last February. The DOS had estimated additional revenues from the ongoing amnesty on delinquencies to reach P21.26 billion. If paid tax amnesty, meanwhile, was expected to generate P6.28 billion during its two-year implementation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.